All right, what's up guys? In today's video, I want to be talking about trading rules and why you need to have rules to become a profitable trader. All right, what's up guys? If you're new to the channel, please hit that like button and that subscribe button and hit that little bell notification button if you want to be notified as soon as we post another video. All right, so trading rules. I'm going to go through a couple of rules that I use in my own trading that has helped me. But before we go into detail on that, I want to talk about the fact that I developed these rules through uh, trade journaling. I'm going to be making a new video in a couple of days on trading trade journaling. But the what I want to uh, emphasize here is the fact that my trading rules are specific uh, and individual for me and it's something that I've developed during my trading journaling routine right so you need to journal and you need to look at what type of mistakes you're doing and you need to create rules and the idea with creating these rules are to force you into positive uh, patterns and, and, and create habits around your trading and the rules will help you with that. And basically the rules are there to help you not make mistakes in trading. All right, so the first and for me the most important rule for me is take breaks especially after you had a big winner or a big loser it's extremely important what i do is after i had a bigger than average winner a bigger than average loser or if i'm having a very nice winning streak where i'm getting almost to the point of being euphoric or if i'm having a losing streak where i'm getting almost you know feeling you know a sense of hopelessness or even you know depressions that kind of stuff right i take a break and it's just so so important to take breaks and it's so refreshing to just you know tell yourself i'm gonna take 24 hour break here and it that that lets you kind of take a step back and see the market from a new perspective and when you get back your your recharge more energy and you kind of forget about the winner forget about the loser and you can approach trading just like it should be exactly according to your you know system and your trading style and by the way what the 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 trade setup you're seeing here in the background is on egld uh, it's a setup i posted the other day in the business even if you want to check it out the details of that trade you can do so completely free you go to burdness.com slash free trial you own the free trial you own for seven days and you can uh, get in on this setup and we just posted a new one on avax as well and another very important rule that I've uh, figured out through my journaling is how, so I had a big problem. I was over trading, right? So I asked myself, how can I implement a rule to help me with over trading? So what I did was I looked at my uh, trading history and I saw that when I take on average, I think it was on average five trades a week, I was, uh, you know, most profitable. When I started doing less trades than five, like one every week or, 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 or 10 a week or even 20 a week, especially if I was doing more, I was losing money and that is a sign of over trading. So one of my rules are right now that I'm not supposed, supposed to take more than two trades every day right and, and that helps me with because i've seen that when i had periods of having you know 10 or 20 trades a day i could take like 10 trades a day take 10 swing trades a day and that is definitely over trading so one of my rules states that do not take more than two trades a day and that will force me not to over trade it's going to be impossible for me to over trade if i only take two trades a day as a swing trader right so you, you've heard me talk about the trading in the zone and, and, and trying to find that flow state of mind. I talk about that quite a lot, right? And my another rule that I have is I, I come down to the office, right? And I always start my trading session, my day with, um, you know, five minutes or 10 minutes, usually five minutes because I'm lazy. <laughs> I can't do 10 because I'm just, I don't know. I do five minutes, right? So five minutes of meditation. And when I do that meditation, after the meditation, I take my you know temperature, the mental temperature. And I ask myself, 
are you in a state of mind that is that 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 are you in a positive state of mind a stress-free positive state of mind that makes it easy for you to enter the zone and enter that flow state of mind if the question is yes i'll go and trade if the question is no it's absolutely crucial that i either continue the meditation until i've re reached the point where i feel like i'm you know can easily enter the, the flow state of mind if i can't do that i'm not going to be trading it's extremely crucial that you do not trade if you're not balanced and focused mentally because you will fuck up sorry about that i'm not supposed to be cursing but you will make stupid mistakes all right and another rule which is very important for me is uh, not trading too early in the evening right because i'm usually doing most of my trading in the in the morning or the the you know during the daytime especially in the morning most of my good trades are taking you know in the morning when i'm feeling refreshed and a lot of energy and i've done the meditation i've taken the temperature i feel like i'm um, feeling good and that's when i should enter because trading is a lot about you know willpower discipline and that kind of stuff and that is not that, 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 that that's not something that's constant it's like a a a, a you only have a certain a certain amount of willpower and discipline right and that kind of for me that it gets depleted the more you know the more the day goes on so in the evenings i'm not supposed to be trading so one of my rules are uh, i'm looking at the four hour candle closes at uh, seven in the evening so around seven in the evening depending on what you know if the summertime or winter time could be seven or, 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 or six but that four hour candle close i can't take trades based on that four hour candle close but i'm not supposed to be entering any trades or entering any orders after eight right eight is my final time no trades after eight because i know that i've already used up all the necessary energy during the day that i need to stay disciplined and focused during trading so after eight it's relaxing time it's journaling uh, reviewing and that kind of stuff right so a very important rule understand when you're performing best and trade when you're performing best and and have a rule that says do not trade after this time because you know that you're gonna make mistakes but obviously this won't work if you have a a day job or, or, or you're working full time and you're coming home in the afternoons and, and trading obviously you, you you need to have a rule that says you know i'm gonna be trading when i get home from work but not too late not not you know not 10 or 11 in the evening because you're probably tired there it's better to get up uh, maybe an hour earlier and trade or 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 you know trade as soon as you get home and you feel like you try to figure that out and you do, do that by journaling right all right so the last uh, rule right here and the last but absolutely not the least one is uh, the 10 minute rule right so if you're looking at a setup right so you're looking at a setup here let's say you're looking at this e egl shot right here and you're thinking well you know it looked like a good entry it looks like a good entry here it looks like i want to be uh, in on this but i'm not sure there's something that tells me that i'm not really supposed to be on this maybe it's not 100 percent confirmed there's something about there I'm, I'm feeling a bit stressed and that kind of stuff right what you do then is you take a walk something is leave the office or leave the shots for 10 minutes at least 10 minutes and then you come back 10 minutes and you you know it, it's 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 um easy for you to kind of get out of the impulsive mode right when you just switch perspective come back in 10 minutes and then you ask yourself because most of the time if it's a bad trade you're not going to take it after 10 minutes right but if it's a really good trade and you're feeling just the same after 10 minutes it's probably if you take the trade it's probably higher probability that it's going to work out right the, the, the idea with 10, 10 minute rule is you need to kind of um abrupt the, the the process of taking the impulsive action right you need to just because like it, it could be sometimes that you're uh, revenge trading but you don't really know about it right so it's like oh man i really want to enter this trade i really want to enter this trade last trade was a loser you're not saying this and you're thinking this but 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 it's kind of like how your mind works right you really want to make it back right so you're like ah oh, really i want to enter this but it kind of feels bad take a 10 minute break get back at it after after 10 minutes and that will make it so much clearer and, and better you will most likely have a slightly different perspective all right guys 
here's another video for me, just me basically talking, but I do think this is very, very important, right? So what you've heard here is some of my personal rules that I have in, in trading, and I want to make much more, you know, videos uh, with more rules and how you can structure your own trading around these rules, but, but to come up with these rules, you need to be having a trading journal and actually be reviewing your, your journal to see what's working and what's not working. So make sure you journal and I am going to make a new video this week about trade journaling and how you do that and what software you can use and that kind of stuff. All right, guys, take care and see you guys in the next one.